got his own identity, who has got his own culture, and we would like to mingle this culture with the Western culture, with the, um, the city and the other people. And we want to say we are welcoming you to our culture. It's, it's not that we're changing the, you know, we want to call it Bangladesh. It's just, uh, it's, it's we are way of saying come in and mingle with us. It's, it's uh, being a partnership with the rest of the community around. That seems very good. Yeah, well, I think actually be swiveling something or whatever. I understand. You know, you know the proposals. Apparently you've got some reservations. What, what are they? Well, I think... Uh, I don't have reservations, really. I, I, I welcome the idea of Bangla Town. 
Uh, I think it's a great idea. It will attract a lot of uh, tourists in the area, which will help the economy in the area. Uh, uh, I think uh, it will complement the Huguenots, uh, the, uh, uh, the French and the Italians who have left their footprints in the area. Uh, it will be like uh, the little India they call it in Singapore. Uh, they got French quarters in uh, New Orleans. So it's a great idea really. I, I go along with it. Yeah. So the only reservation like you say I have is uh, that uh, when uh, Bangla town is formed, uh, it will attract a lot of uh, uh, different elements which may be detrimental to the community here. Uh, but then again it will uh, create a lot of uh, wealth from the tourism and the attraction of people coming from other areas into Berkeley. Explain a little bit more what you mean by, what you mean by it would attract elements which would which are a little bit see, some, some of uh, the uh, community uh, uh, members are uh, quite happy uh, they think that uh, it will like, be like Chinatown, you know. But my uh, attitude is positive attitude, you see, we can control those elements, you know, so it shouldn't be any problem really. And uh, it will, uh, we want to create an impact on the, uh, uh, on the English culture here that uh, by importing our culture and leaving a footprint behind in history. Yeah. So, so, so when you say it might it be a bit Dutch Chinatown, you mean okay, I'll sort of lead to elements of violence or...? or well, there, there are some, uh, I mean, people are, some of the people are doubting that, but I don't think law and order is pretty strict in England and, uh, I mean, even in Chinatown, uh, it's, it's not as if uh, in, in Hong Kong or uh, other places you get some nasty problems, but I don't think we'll have any problems, really. It, well, describe what it's, what it's like, it, it, how you think the area is developed. It's turned into quite a community, it's quite a, a close-knit community, isn't it? Uh, it is a close-knit community. The only uh, disadvantage we have got here is that uh, the properties which are uh, in the street are not fully owned by the uh, community members, the Bengalis. It's all rented out. So if success comes, uh, the uh, rent element uh, of these properties might go up and that might push the Bengalis out. But also it's important that if you want to have a Bangla town, we must have the imprint of the Bengali culture in the area for it to be prominent, for uh, it to be attractive uh, to the outsiders. So the, the visual changes they're proposing, the arch and the, the, the lampposts. Lamp yeah. Some people have said that that's a bit too monocultural. You should be emphasizing the fact that the area is also home to many other cultures as well. Like I mentioned, uh, that Huguenots and the uh, French, the Italians has, has left their footprints in the area as well. I think Bangla town will only complement it. it will, we have to live side by side with the Huguenots' footprints. You know, uh, I, I think Bangla town will only complement it. So we have to live together. Yes, sure. Yeah, I'm going to focus on the street. I can't understand English. I can't speak English. But I want to get such a shop, you know, such a nice shop. So I will try my best to be a businessman like you. So I think it's a good thing. Is it fine? Will you let us know when it's going to be? Yes. Which are definitely interesting. Anand sir, I'll take a short shot.